ethos of Seca Story is to use technology to tell an interactive story, allowing the consumer to create their own experience. A maker is somebody who looks at their environment, find different technologies or different uh, objects and combine them in new ways. I like using technology to bring people together and this idea of Internet of Things, that everything's connected. Our technology team has been working for some time looking at different ways to allow people to control lights in space, controlling color, and controlling intensity, and actually developing a collaborative drawing canvas. The Lit Project is a result of a collaboration between Intel and Second Story to explore potential uses for the Galileo. Galileo is a development board that runs Linux and is Arduino compatible. What Galileo has is processing power. Otherwise, this would be something that only you know, somebody with significant engineering experience could create. Something that's really compelling about Galileo is not just a technical platform, but it really is the fact that Intel's going fully open with it. So it is an open stack to tinker with and to learn on. It allows us to have your own agendas and actually use these tools towards the agenda that you have. The experience is you have these in your home uh, and it's an ambient light and it's just doing what it's doing. But you can also connect to it over Wi-Fi. So the Galileo board is acting as a hotspot uh, and your phone can connect to that hotspot. And once you're connected with the hotspot, um, you load up a web interface. The prototype that we have right now allows you to draw on it. So this is the back side of our, our lit columns, and down here are the brains of each column. We have two Galileos. We have our serial interface here, it's the SPI, our power cable with onboard power supply, and our ethernet line coming straight in. The thing that excites me about all of this is just how easily accessible all this technology is now. It's all on one board. We don't need extra peripherals. We don't need extra backpacks. We can access all of these components just straight through the Arduino interface. And it's completely pin compatible with all the other technology that's out there. We can start to think about the interaction of um, furnishings, uh, objects at the scale of furniture that become digitally enabled through light. And the only way to do that is a proliferation of technology into objects everywhere. Um, and that's, that's sort of where we're headed right now. We're in a moment where lighting, like so many other technologies, is being democratized. The idea here is that we can afford uh, individuals a whole range of control over the lighting in their environment. The tools are there, the platforms are there. Intel is really enabling and allowing you to create responsive environments on your own. That's what open access and democratization of technology and the maker movement is providing, is the ability to change and to make a change.